Hello, I'm R. Face of Mars with your mad science update for today. Conscious killer robots to buy their time to enslave humans. This is an old science fiction storyline, obviously. Uh, it's been told many times over. The problem is we are getting into the technological era where we have to start worrying about our own creations. I'm not as worried about this as a lot of these people are. Some scientists are lauding the rapid development of artificial intelligence, but others fear their progress will prove fatal. Expert opinion is split on the possibility of AI developing consciousness, which some warn could be used to rebel against humans and kill us. Now we have an exclusively reveal how we they might do it that would truly turn evolution on its head. There is no unguided evolution, that's horse time. But that sets the tone, plus the fact that this uh, Ray Kurzweil is there sitting in front of the Council for Foreign Relations, that sets the tone for this video. The mental disorder of liberalism, in other words. Subhash CAC. I kid you not. A professor of electrical and computer, computer engineering at Oklahoma University says that if the robots developed a consciousness similar to ours, they would likely use human beings as slaves. Okay. Isn't she cute? The author told Daily Star Online, if indeed machines become self-aware, they will be coming, and they'll buy their time and choose the best moment to take over and enslave, if not kill us. I have a problem with this, and the problem is that computers lack something called independent initiative. It's something that we humans have. That's what sets us apart. Uh, it's hard to describe, but we... You know, do things on our own accord. Computers just do what they're programmed to do. It doesn't mean that some bad guy couldn't get a hold of a computer and get a hold of these things and try to take over the world. That could happen. His comments came after a debate through the science community about what defines human consciousness and whether or not this can ever be achieved by robots. CAC does not believe they will develop this ability because of the unique nature of human consciousness, although he is warned of their potential if they did. However, he concedes that the majority of scientists and physicists do believe the terrifying prospect of a robot takeover will become a very real threat. See, I don't see it that way for another reason. Uh, eventually, these things run out of juice. So... Worst case scenario, all you do is you sabotage power stations, and that's the end of that. But you starve about uh, six billion people. But... Cat told us if you believe the machines will become conscious like us, then the possibility that such machines will kill off humans cannot be ruled on. I personally don't believe that, there, that machines will become conscious and self aware like we are, and so we need not worry. But most computer scientists and physicists don't agree with my position. They think there's nothing but to con consciousness but computation. I would disagree with that, too. They're wrong, but they're influential in the academy and policy making. These comments come after the website revealed robots could be t 15 times stronger than humans, according to a former AI engineer. That could be a problem. Dr. Ian Pearson previously told us you can make the robot a lot stronger, the muscle fibers, all the moment, they're about 10 to 15 times stronger. Well, so is a chimpanzee. And chimpanzees are something like five times stronger than us per pound. You can make a mo robot 
18 times stronger even using stuff we know about today. It's possible it being a lot better than that. It means conscious robots possessing the ability to rebel against a person could kill an enslaving human being with chilling ease. The only star online previously revealed how AIs to be used in sport with NFL teams to practice with Tom Brady robots to prepare for games. Come on. And there's all that sex bot stuff. Those are basically just mannequins with uh, mannequins that can talk. They're devices. That's all they are. not real. Alright, uh, I don't think so. As I said, let's say you have an artificially intelligent washing machine. And this washing machine doesn't like you. So it decides to chase you down the street. Well, it can't chase you down the street because it's plugged in now, can it? The worst you can do is screw up your clothes. That's about that's about all I would say is like screw up your clothes, but I can't chase you down the street or something. You know, well, what's all the concern? Uh, how many of these so-called killer robots are we going to create? I mean, okay, self-driving cars might be a problem. But who's going to create all these? This is my question. I mean, unless an entire, every gadget in the world starts screwing up, in which case we shut down the power and screw them over, or I just don't see it. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm glad. I don't think this is going to happen, but. Who am I to say? I'm much less worried about this than I am our current state of affairs where we're thinking about blowing up our own planet with nuclear weapons. I'm not too happy with what I'm seeing. North Korea and all that. Now well, that's a real and present danger. We need to find some way out of this, if there is one. I've heard Trump is talking to them via back channels. I don't know. Anyway, I'm Artifacts of Mars. Not worried about this. Thanks for watching.